Om Namah Shivai students. We have almost come to the end of the text from the diary of Anne Frank. So we have seen in the last video that Anne has written a very funny essay on the topic given to her on Chatterbox. So let's see how her teacher takes up the essay. What is his reaction to that? Mr. Keezing had a good laugh at my arguments. But when I proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson, he assigned me a second essay. This time it was supposed to be on an incorrigible chatterbox. I handed it in and Mr. Keezing had nothing to complain about for two whole lessons. However, during the third lesson, he had finally had enough. And Frank, as punishment for talking in the class, write an essay entitled Quack, 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. The professor found Anne's argument to be amusing, but when she did not stop talking in the next lesson also, he gave her yet another assignment as punishment. The topic was an incorrigible chatterbox. Incorrigible refers to a bad habit that is difficult to change. He gave her this topic because he was annoyed of her unstoppable chattering during his lessons. On receiving this assignment, the professor did not say anything to her for a while, but when he lost his patience, he handed her yet another assignment as punishment on the topic, quack, 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. The class roared. I had to laugh too. Though I had ne nearly exhausted my ingenuity on the topic of chatterboxes, it was time to come up with something else, something original. My friend, Sane, who is good at poetry, offered to help me write the essay from beginning to end in verse and I jumped for joy. Mr. Keezing was trying to play a joke on me with this ridiculous subject, but I'd make sure the joke was on him. When the professor scolded her for the third time and punished her, the whole class started laughing. As a result, she had to pretend to, amu to be amused too. After writing twice on similar topics, she ran out of thoughts. Thus, her friend, Sana, who was good at poetry, offered to help her write in rhyme. This whole assignment scenario was to make Anne feel ashamed, but she made sure that she gave an effective reply. I finished my poem and it was beautiful. It was about a mother duck and a father swan with three baby ducklings who were bitten to death by the father because they quacked too much. Luckily, Mr. Keezing took the joke the right way. He read the poem to the class, adding his own comments and to several other classes as well. Since then, I have been allowed to talk and haven't been assigned any extra homework. On the contrary, Mr. Keezing is always making jokes these days. Your son. She finally wrote her third assignment in the form of a poem, which turned out to be great. She wrote a satire that a father swan bit his three baby ducklings to death because of their nosy nature, noisy nature. To her good luck, the professor took it lightly. The professor recited the entire poem in front of the class while giving his own remarks simultaneously. The author being fortunate enough talked uninterruptedly after this incident without any further homework as punishment. Also, Mr. Keezing the professor started cracking jokes every now and then in front of the class. And here Anne finishes her diary entry for the day. So, here we complete one portion of her diary. 
I hope you have already liked how she has presented her diary and it has also taught you how to write a diary. It is just not jotting down a data but also adding on to your emotions, your day-to-day -day life things as well as your perspectives, the way you talk to your friend. Here also we see the diary is named Kitty as her friend, as Anne's friend. So here we finish the entire chapter. In the next video, we will be discussing the question and answer and the main points from this text. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.